I'm making scallops Kilpatrick or Kirkpatrick. I don't know if you've ever heard of, I think it's an Australian dish. It's called oysters Kilpatrick or Kirkpatrick. And it's essentially it's oysters with bacon and oh, Worcestershire sauce. Sometimes they make a sauce out of a mixture of Worcestershire sauce and barbecue sauce or ketchup. And there's usually and some breadcrumbs in there, which I don't like the texture of, so I'm leaving that out. But there's usually a bit of scallop, not scallop, a bit of uh, Well, anyway, that's the gist of it. So, it's a cooked oyster dish. And me and the girlfriend had it in Brighton for the first time a couple of weeks ago. Really nice, but... Oysters are a fair bit harder to find. So I was down in Cornwall the other week, and I could get loads of really nice scallops. So I tried it with scallops instead. And it works really well. The only difference is scallops are a little bit more delicate flavour wise. So if you're doing this with Westers, you'd have the same amount of um, bacon as you would scallops. Uh, as if you're doing this with oysters, you'd have equal amount of oyster meat to bacon. But because scallops are a little bit more fragile, they're not fragile, but flavor-wise, they're a bit more tender flavor-wise. The flavor of the scallops is a little bit more subtle. I'm gonna go half bacon to scallops. Also, when I was in Cornwall, I was getting the really big, nice, chunky, King oyster, uh, king scallops in a shell. So what you would normally do is you'd cook off this, your bacon and scallops. Uh, sometimes there'll be some breadcrumb in there as well, so I had a bit of texture. I don't like that, so we're gonna leave that out. So you'd cook this off a bit, spoon it on top of the oysters with your sauce of choice, and then whack the whole oyster under the grill to cook it through. That's what I was doing with the scallops, leaving them in the half shell, putting them under the grill with this, after I'd spoon this onto them. But, as I said, uh, the problem is, now I'm back from Cornwall, I don't have, I had to get frozen scallops that have already been deshelled and they've had the roe taken off as well, which is annoying because I quite like the roe. So I'm just gonna cook this, cook the whole lot in a pan. But scallops don't take anywhere near as much time to cook, so I'm gonna render all the fat down out of the bacon, even get it a little bit crispy, sweat down that shallot, shallot, and go from there. Right, so that's just one nice, thick bacon rasher that I brought back from Cornwall, bought a pack of really nice, thick Devon pork, Devonshire pork. If you want to use just normal bacon, slice it up thin, that's cool. Lardons would probably be a little bit better though, because you do want a bit of bite to it. Like I said, so I've got Henderson's Relish, which is better than Worcestershire sauce if you ask me, but they're both both in the same sort of ballpark. I just have Worcestershire sauce, or the Henderson's Relish in this case. Some places it would be with barbecue sauce. Sometimes they would mix the Worcestershire sauce with tomato sauce to make a bit of a sauce. That's, actually really nice and it works in its own way but again like I said the scallops are a little bit more delicate flavor wise so I'm gonna just go with Henson's and I'm gonna not use a measure because I haven't got one on me oh actually I have actually what we want is a tablespoon which is gonna take a while to get out yeah. I'm just going to put that in the pan 
with scallops. Essentially we're just going to stir fry that all off. Well not stir fry, we're just going to let scallops sit there. I'm going to come back and turn them halfway through. Actually, while they're cooking, one last little bit. We're going to get some a bit of parsley, only about half a handful. Not very much. It's mostly for garnish. And we're just going to chunk that up. Give that a... I'm oh, just going to check the uh, scallops. We're going to need a turn now. Just work, nothing worse than overcooked scallops. You'll see on the other side they'll just they'll be firmed up. It'll be a more solid white colour, which might be hard to tell actually because of the Worcestershire sauce. But and you might have picked up an ever so slight little bit of brown. That's fine. Like I said, in Cornwall literally just cook the bacon and the shallots wash this sauce on the scallop in the half shell whack that under the grill until it was done didn't take very long at all scallops in general don't take very long to cook we'll stop i'm serving this on a very simple dressed salad it's just a mix of rocket pea shoots i think there's some chard and spinach in there just dress a bit of olive oil it's all a bit of pepper um great start great lunch it's great on its own if like i said with this just in the shell the way i was doing it in cornwall just take it and just eat it straight out of the shell it's a great little start a great little snack great side it's really really quite beautiful right so i'm going to take a few more minutes and we just want a quarter of a lemon just to finish it off at the end we're gonna give it a hit of lemon yeah i'd say they're pretty much done so we just want to get the scallops out put them on whatever you're serving them on obviously you don't need to take them out of the shell if you're cooking it cooking them in the shell you can just dump them all out of the pan. I mean, I'm just trying to make it look a bit pretty for the thumbnail, but you can do you, boo. And then with the, reduced shallots and bacon, just go over the top. And then just to finish it off, we're going to go hit it with a bit of parsley, not too much, and then just wake it up with a drizzle of lemon juice. And there you, ooh, parsley, man. There you go, scallops, Kilpatrick, Kirkpatrick. This soy, uh, this um, sauce, bacon, shallot mixture. Like I said, traditionally this would be with oysters. I think it works really well with scallops. It also works well with mussels or pretty much any shellfish that you like. Even really kind of like prawns and crab and lobster. It's really quite a good little way of doing it. But yeah, I'm going to go have this for lunch and uh, well, I'm going to take some pictures for like Instagram and stuff. But yeah, hope you're all all right. I hope everyone's going, everything's going swimmingly. Um, but yeah. Get out of there, give it a go, it's beautiful, you won't regret it. Cool, alright peeps, I will see you when I see you. Alright, bye bye. Watch ya.